Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6 where we've done a decent job expanding our empire. Uh, economy is starting to kick in thanks to our very, very high faith output. And we are basically, we're rushing to St. Basil's because we've got a nice St. Basil's city planned. High appeal, nice national parks here later on. Um, and then also after that, we're just going directly towards conservation so that we can start making national parks uh and we've started to plan a couple of those as well we might plan a few more throughout the game here today uh but ba suffice it to say once we're planting woods i think we're going to be able to get mass 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 uh na national parks everywhere so yeah so that's good uh we somehow got the pyramids i've made a lot of silly mistakes in this game we have a lot of silly barbs in this game that are that are harassing us uh, i've had to commit, commit a good amount of gold to trying to keep them at bay and it, it's only gone so well um, but let's just continue on and i hope that i can actually settle this city please run away plus three holy site Strategy requires dun, 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 dun. I think we got away with it because this guy shouldn't be able to get into this tile hill hill or either woods hill uh, so I think I should be able to settle this and not lose it which is great uh, still have not founded a religion holding that in our back pocket just got our plus three holy site here I don't mind building these shrines, so we're and actually I don't know how soon I want to uh, pop my religion because Catholicism here has has uh, uh, choral music for us, and so by getting by building my shrine, I'm giving myself faith, which is faith, culture, faith, science, and faith, culture, science, and gold, um, and then actual just culture on this too. Can I please please explain my strategy with national parks? Um, build them everywhere effectively um do, do do your best to just make as many as possible and as early as possible the later you get national parks the less valuable they are because they don't have time to sit there and tick every turn and give you tourism oh come on so keep all that in mind I'm trying to defend our cities get some walls um, but yeah, basically just build national parks everywhere you possibly can. And if you want, yeah, if you want to see me going ham on um, national parks, check out the late, uh, the late Canada videos on the YouTubes and you can see that we can get massive amounts of them. Every time I think I'm saving space for national parks, it doesn't actually work. Well, we'll get we'll get there. Uh, the requirements aren't as bad as you might think. So I've got a couple mines, which I want to get rid of later. Um, but it's basically we need to get to our ability to plant woods and get lumber mills and just beautify our world via that and builders. So I'm going to even wait on this. I'm just going to tech through this. I don't really care about the Eureka. I'm not going to force my religion. We may be founding our religion this era anyways, simply for the era score. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that later on. I'm just going to try to turtle against the barbs. I was trying to be proactive and go and clear this camp. Um, but that has not gone so well for me. <coughs> I want to check in with our cities as far as what tiles they're working to. We have fairly housing capped cities here. Which means I don't want to be working that farm. Or that one. I think that's a little better. I can give them more housing. Yeah, we need more builders. I can just faith buy a bunch of builders and get those going. <laughs> All right. All right, Timo. Sorry for the spoilers. What are we working here? We're pop three. 
Um, I think I want that because it's a little bit better for growth. 13 turns instead of 17. It's a better tile. And I think our cap has plenty of decent tiles to be working right now. So that makes sense. You're working the best tiles you can. Uh, we can grow here. So I want you focused on growth if possible. Two good growth tiles. And then I want you to work that over this. Seems okay. All right. How about you? Do that one next turn. I'll do the uh, I'll do the uh, northern hemisphere in a second. This is a problem. I need to get another crossbow or something over there. Man, we're just getting swarmed. Speaking of builders, try to give them housing first. What do we want here? This city is mostly here for some seaside resorts, which means that should be a rock hewn church. Give them this for now. Just guess who just hit 100k stream points? Nice T. I'm hoping to add. I, I've I've had some ideas for um, what I want uh, stream points to be, and so I'm hoping to add those in this weekend. Maybe next week we'll have some fun ways to spend them. Government looks like what? Running Discipline. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, and did we just see the timer? 10 turns on the new era. Okay, so we need to come up with uh, 11 more era score. Are we doing anything that we can count on? This, we can count on. That'll be three. So now we just need eight. Uh, I've got Magnus here. I can chop this out. That'll be three more. So now we just need five. I could faith buy this merchant right now and get a massive, get the uh, more than 50% purchase and as, as well get another trade route. I think I like that a lot. Could buy a boat. Settle Pantanal, all of these things are good. I really want Marco Polo, I think. Now, I'm going to be a little bit upset if the next one is um, What's-Her-Butt. But that's three. It's What's-Her-Butt. What's his butt? All right, so we need to beat Giovanni there. But we increased the cost by a lot. So as long as we run a project or two, or at least just get our commercial hubs down, we should be okay. Was that about the 50% purchase? So if we would have waited, because we had, we had less than 50% of, um, of, of the great people points necessary to recruit this, because that gap is larger than 50% of it, uh, we earned three era score versus it would have just been one era score had we waited another turn or two and gone over that 50% threshold. But I am no longer worried about hitting our golden age. I think we should be able to do that no problem. I also want to get settlers 650 so we should we should buy our last few settlers up here too soonish but I think I want a builder for this Magnus city we've got this guy coming I'm eventually gonna clear this for seaside resort so we could chop kind of a lot definitely want that campus though GG Matthew, you can do either. I prefer him as culture, but that's just because I prefer culture in general. No problem, Stray. No problem. Sure. Do you like me? Do you want to be friends? Ooh, all right. So maybe I can steal some tiles with a culture bomb. I like that idea. And then usually the AI likes to vote no against something. I say no smoking. No tobacco. Is that going to hurt us? Sure. 
Sure. No tobacco. Uh, I don't think we're going to tangle with Eleanor if, if, if we don't have to. It's Are you talking with the new game modes, Tifer? Because it's kind of hard to say. I'm still getting used to them myself. No for marble, and then we won this one. So we've got three Diplo victory points already. Barbs are coming for my cap, I think. Oh, dear. Gondar calls for aid. We will give them a harbor. But first, a granary. I saw that, Rise to Vote. I'm excited about it. We've soothed them, so this is not first soothe stuff. Okay. Yeah, I want to bring my extra builder charges, I think, up to where Maggie is. Is there any etiquette with watching streams and asking questions and stuff? Not for me. I encourage all the questions. I love to explain things and teach. Uh, I think I'm pretty decent at it. So you are you. This, my whole life is an AMA. So while you're here, I can't speak for other streamers, but while you're here, you can ask uh, anything you like. That's true. The beacon must be lit. Let's build Gondar the Great Lighthouse. I love that. <laughs> Dig it. Dig it. That gave us another housing capacity. We could try to grow in too quickly or just wait eight turns, and that seems okay. Yep, yep, yep. No problem, Dr. Damien. Thanks for being here. Here goes to this city. Um, so actually, we should be running projects here, not build building an amphitheater. Chef, I'm still not totally sure on that one. I'm pretty sure you can send rock bands to anywhere, but uh, th I think they are slightly better in the sieves that like you're fighting for. I I, I don't know, man. I, like I said, I don't use rock bands all that often. I, I, re I recognize that they're quite powerful. But I, I prefer parks. Um, Where do I want this trade route? Maybe here. Maybe there. Haha. -ha. Ba -ba -bum. <laughs> yes, please, because otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I can't do anything with this builder right now, except for maybe get up here. And we'll want a harbor. But first, we want the obelisk. I guess I don't need to harvest this, but I do I do need to get rid of it, so whatever. <laughs> They're a five pop city, I guess. What's your appeal? It's three. So I don't really want this mine. Take that money. Barbs, why are you so mean? These are going to pillage my stuff. This could be a plus four campus. I don't think we need it. 
If I get around to it, we can make it. But I'd rather them build a harbor in a theater square. I don't have an outstanding holy sites. The scripture's not actually that good for us. I have one plus three and then a plus one. And eventually another plus three. And this is medieval era. So we do get another monumentality golden age. So we don't have to worry about losing that ability. There's our harbor. So this is done in seven turns now. And we have eight turns on the era. So that's perfect. Let's get that lighthouse for the trade route capacity. Um, do I just lock in a theater square randomly for them? I think the answer is yes. We'll get that later. How are you doing on districts? You, we need to buy tiles for them is the problem. Uh, Greek Arrow, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, man, I really want to make woods. I want to start planting woods. Yes, she does. Let us be friends. Um, and let's let's up our deals here. That's a good amount. That is not. She likes diamonds. Who knew? Would you like marble? Nope. Would you? Nope. How about you? Nope. Okay, lame. Oh yeah, marble. Oh, is marble dead? That's right. In from the Congress. You 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 guys right. You guys right. That's rude. They picked mine. Very rude game. Very rude. Want some Diplo favor? Look at our money. See, it pays to have friends. Okay. Grab a settler there. I like want to build a district here, but it's so bad. And like I want this so that I can build a park. Stupid tile. So that's gonna culture bomb. I could try to like build a district over here and like whatever. Let's not get too cute with the culture bombing. All right, they have knights and stuff. I'm going to trust that they can deal with it. I'm going to hop this crossbow on the road and bring them back around. Don't want to commit more economy to dealing with the stupid barbarians. So we make this and then add an earth goddess here so it's more free faith. Um, it's also an okay tile to work if we want to. For even more faith and more science and gold and all that stuff. So I think we're going to Sheffield here. It's a fine road. Could build the holy site here to steal tiles. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Like, boop. Because that's a plus three. Certainly not bad. I like that idea. So what's our last two era score? What 
Would I prefer holy sites near the lake or a national park? Um, yeah, if we if we build it there, we can't do both. That's a good point. It's not as high of appeal as you want it to be. I can park this. And then just get seaside resorts. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the boat could be it. Buy my boat. Buy my boat. Yeah, lots of options. Lots of options. Okay. No. Just tiles, though, right? As long as they're not pillaging my districts, I don't care too much. Build two markets. Yeah, we're progressing too quickly to get some of these. I'll just have this. Maybe we can debate them. Don't want to switch governments. I think for now I can just do that. Save the woods. Four turns now on this. The silly city. For now, it'll be fine in the long run. I want to build Spore a little bit. Oh, that's a campus. That's fun. So, don't want to make this mine. Sometimes lurker here, some question about science. Try to get all the Eurekas. Uh, tend not to be able to get to space before the late 1900s. What am I missing? There's science paths you should do, use. When is the 1900s uh, turn-wise? And yeah, not all Eurekas are worth it. They're, like You can see, even though we're playing a culture game and culture is very important, like... I'm skipping this. I'm not getting this anytime soon, and it's only a two-turn tech. So, so avoiding avoiding techs early on to make sure you get doable Eurekas is a wonderful strategy. But there's a certain point in the game where, like, if you don't have harbors, just blow through this. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if you don't have campuses, just blow through this if you need to. Uh, there are some that just aren't really going to happen in a lot of games, or at least in a lot of my games. Like, I never build two neighborhoods. I never build one neighborhood. So, like, I never get sanitation. And so I just, I just accept the fact that I don't. Um, you know, having two forts, that's pretty rare for me, too. Uh, not to say I couldn't get better at doing some of those, but my point to you is, like, don't stress about it if you miss a particular Eure Eureka. Generally speaking, in a space race, you want to get to chemistry. Uh, you, well, first step is industrialization, because a space race should have a fantastic rear valley city, ideally. Um, and then you want to go towards, like, chemistry, rocketry, satellites, and then down here to, um, to like, nanotechnology, and then all the way to, all the way to the end. So... Yeah, Jelly, I studied, uh, I studied business in college, uh, business management and um, human resources. Spent most of my life not using it. <laughs> this 
So where are we at? Um, speaking of beelining techs. Basically just want to get there. Two harbors is doable. So all right, we'll start with stirrups then. Settleable little island. <laughs> true, Ace. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you can get you can get a little too mired in your own perfectionism if you're not careful, uh, Pepin. Sometimes it's okay to just accept the loss and move on. I want to buy tiles, but I don't. Yes, Roland, yes. I'm just going to keep you around. You too. I, I don't quite know what Magnus is doing here, but we'll figure it out. These are the tiles I really want to buy. Yeah, I don't want to commit all of my money to uh, buying tiles. And that's that's definitely something that we're dealing with. We were just talking about our um, my rankings. And we were talking about how good the paradise is, right? Persia's paradise. And what I said about it, one of the very, very nice things is that you can settle a city and then put one right next to it, grow at a reasonable rate, and have extra culture and gold going on too, which the gold could buy you tiles, but the, the culture also drives your, your tile expansion. Um, and so you're seeing exactly the spot here in this game where that would be really nice. It would have been sweet to put a paradise here instead of a farm, uh, and we'd have more tiles and more access to spots that we want to place districts, better tile improvements, etc., etc., etc. Basically, chop and harvest for your currency to buy your way from early mid game. Yeah, generally, that's a good way of looking of looking at it. Does Rock Hume do the same? It doesn't, it's not the same effect, right? Like the Rock Hume gives us a bunch of faith, which is cute and nice. And it, and it kind of, it kind of does because of the, uh, you know, uh, of our, of, of the rest of our abilities, right? Like a little bit of faith, but let's say it's a plus four Rock Hume church and I don't, and I'm not playing secret societies because we're evaluating things independent of that. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a tiny bit of culture maybe from that, from like a four faith Rock Hume church that we do. Um, but it, it, it's just not the same effect. Yeah, there's the era score we needed. Now we're done. With that campus, we're done. Uh, this next unlock is in the industrial era, and we're not going into that yet, so we don't have to save this governor promotion the entire time for this. Uh, we could do something like curator, although I don't have any great works, really. Um, not quite yet, anyways. I could bring in a Liang uh, for our eventual coastal madness. I think that's fine. That'll work for now. I'd like to give them the full housing, and we're working this tile anyways. I guess the housing doesn't matter. So the faith in that culture is for the specific city, not a general boost. It applies to your it applies to your overall economy. But when you have something like this, so receive science and culture equal to 50% of your faith generation in cities founded on hills. So that means that this is happening locally, meaning that the culture I get from the faith output is also happening happening locally and doing that tile expansion stuff that we were talking about. Why do I like secret society so much? Uh, replayability. Like a adding in four unique paths that that could potentially be all interesting and good for all of the existing like 50 whatever civs that are in the game. It's just so much replayability, so much strategy planning and, and, and you know, yeah, just replay value is crazy. And, and to add that into a game that's like three years old makes me really, really happy. Floodberries effect appeal? Not that I know of. 
Uh, how are I always able to expand my city so quickly? Um, I, di I didn't in this one. I really didn't in this one. We were super behind. I had two cities, I think, around turn 70 here. But what, what we had done is set ourselves up in order to get a bunch of cities. So I built Ancestral Hall, and we hit a Monumentality Golden Ages. Golden Age. So I was faith buying uh, settlers and building them at the same time, which is why we've been able to uh, expand like this. But I don't generally like to settle cities past turn 100, and we're doing that in this game. <laughs> Interesting, Roland. All right, come on, Barb's. Why gotta be a big pain in my butt? Okay. So five turns left, two turns on the campus. Is there anything I want here? We're playing Ethiopia. Oh, were you a ray? Oh, you're asking chat. Am I? Never mind. We're gonna have to keep an eye open for this. I very much want Giovanni. Oh, I didn't send him a uh, delegation. Whoops. Betwixt the stirrup. Okay. So still clicking on flight. I'm trying to pick our best route through. Again, we're going to get this Eureka. So we can go to banking first. Um, and we need some housing in the cap. Forbidden City and Kilwa available. Lots of wonders available. I could start getting builders and try to get them that housing because 28 turns to grow so I can get this commercial hub feels pretty bad. But four, four culture and six faith seems good. So I guess I'm doing that. Doing a little build exploring. So here we'll grow to two pretty quick, um, and then I'll buy another settler. We'll buy our last two settlers from here. Uh, the names of the features are, oops. It's under map options. Desert labels, lake labels, ocean. You can control all this. Why am I waiting to found my religion? Because I actually like being Catholic for the time being. We're getting uh, we're getting choral music benefits, and like the only thing I'm missing out by founding my religion is four faith per turn. And I think the culture that we're getting from um, from uh, thank you for the ten bits. You're very welcome. Uh, I think the culture that we're getting from Coral Music is pretty impactful. Now, we do have to little, be a little bit careful that he doesn't just win the game. Um, but but actually, Lady Six Guy competing on religion, weirdly enough. Uh, I mean... I don't know if that's a lie or not. <laughs> I really don't know. Here, would you like some iron? Oh. Um, why don't you have money? That's fine. All right, there's our really good campus. 
first completed campus of the game, even though we already have 160 science per turn. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I could go for here and get the culture bomb, which I think is pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind chopping for that. Um, we could do what in the meantime? Just grab a library. Start the harbor. Could start a harbor too. Looking for barbs here. Do I ever give gold for the uh, relationship benefits? Um, sometimes. I'm usually pretty bad at doing that, but I've, I've been known to bribe a sieve or two. All right, so we're good to go on our golden. We are one over at the moment. I'd like to avoid any future era score. Um, hopefully, we're not going to just stumble into any. I don't think we are. If you're with a bank, 100. Alrighty. A university next to a mountain would be nice. Hey, DB. How you doing? I'm about to get this Eureka as well. So we'll have tech both of these and get these Eurekas along the way. I guess here and here. This isn't a great rock hewn church. That's certainly better. But I think I'd rather have two. So we'll culture bomb the rest of these tiles regardless of if he takes them from us or not. Um, and I kind of want to buy that one. Then I'll have all of them. This is uh, Ethiopia. They're the newest release of. Is there a max amount of city can expand its borders? Yeah, six tiles. Six tiles out. Uh, merchant is slow. I have not completed my first project. Yeah, I I just like how can how can he just go the entire game without dealing with two barbarian camps that are spawning a bunch of crap on him? Like how is that even a thing? Is this modded? No. No. Why? Why would you do that? Rude. I thought I led the barbarians to him. Uh. The three great elements. All right, so we can start St. Basil's now, which is nice. Um, we're going to want to run a wonder policy here. And then it's... Head up. We should definitely make some alliances. Uh, what kind of alliances are we interested in here? Thias doing culture stuff. <laughs> exactly, Jay. Exactly. Uh, I mean,
Do barbs prioritize attacking a player over the AI? Yeah, it seems like they do. It certainly seems like they do. And I don't have great districts, so like the typical policies that look good, uh, maybe not so good here. Aesthetic's still quite good, I think. We've got that one, um, got that one really nice theater square. Might not even be super worth it. This is okay for now. Uh oh. Projects. So we got 37. We caught up a little bit there. Um, I could buy them a bank just for the um, one merchant point per turn that it gives us. But I don't I don't think that's great. I don't think that's great. Um, all right, we want to start St. Basil's, so let's do that. Um, and I could certainly bring Magnus here, chop this baby out, and then replant all these woods. They won't be old growth once we hit conservation, but I don't think that's a big deal. What am I going to have Magnus do here? I could build Chichen. I already chopped one rainforest. It'd be like four. Eh. That seems mediocre at best. I don't really want Magnus here. I want this St. Basil's. Where should Reyna be? Uh, yeah, that's true. We could put in the Wonder card. It's the one that we maybe want. Yeah, we're still pretty good there. I'm so sad. How dare they? How dare they? So enabling Earth Goddess with our extra tile, our extra appeal. So that's good. Uh, bearded Hall, Hell, Bearded Hell, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. All right, we move into the Renaissance and hopefully start building some Renaissance wonders. That would be nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Why barbarians? Why are you so mean? Not all who wander are lost. All right. Oh, there's our harbor cartography. Hopefully we didn't waste too much there. Um, but as we enter the Renaissance here, we should look at buying a university um, and start to get some of our wonders. But we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video for now. Uh, when we come back, we'll be picking Monumentality and continuing to get towards our national parks. That's really the break point I'm looking for. If you've been watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.